Good morning and happy Tuesday. We're at it again with another digital reveal. Third week in a row. It's been a few months since I've done this where I've gone back to back to back. But I had a I had a week where things were just going. I sat down in like a week, less than a week, and put out two kits for you guys. Two journal kits. And then the following week, I did the autumn kit that you guys saw last week. So you know, there are days where things just fall into place and you get these things done and I get to spread it out and little by little reveal it to you guys and not overwhelm you because I could. I could go here. Yeah. And no one wants that. So we're spacing it out. But as we get into the third week of July and my third digital reveal in a row, we are going back to florals this week. We've done black and white. We did a taste of autumn last week, um, both with a reveal and a, a mini uh, journal with me and now we're back to digital reveals and we are going back into the botanical uh, setup and this is a little bit of a play off a set of papers that I had done months ago it feels like and I had done a whole journal with me um, I think I did a journal with me on this one I don't remember if I recorded this but at one point I had done a collage roll of all my favorite uh, floral pit, floral imagery that I had created. All these pieces left over, right? So I created a huge uh, scrap paper roll, collage roll that I photographed, scanned it in, and gave you guys 12, 12 up close and, and uh, far away um, elements of that scrappy roll before we cut it up and I put it in the botanical journal. There's pieces that are going into the wildflower journal. You know, it was ephemera for me to use. And it gave me the opportunity to give you guys a scanned version of it. So that it that uh, 12 pages of um, scrappy botanical uh, collage roll imagery papers um, is, of course, down below in the, in the description. And is a great companion to um, this newest journal kit. It is a journal kit. It's a little bit on the smaller side. It's only 16 or 17 pages of things. Um, but it's simple and easy to the point. You could get my fussy cuts um, not fussy cuts, I'm sorry, but you could take my floral small embellishments, you could take the botanical scrappy roll collage pages, you could go in and even add this to my old botanical kit, my new wildflower botanical kit, it's just a great addition to all of them, and totally make a very floral, uh, botanical wildflower, you know, journal or two or three or four. And it's just a great addition too. And it was just fun to try something different. So I had taken those pages that you can purchase and I lightened them up. Again, pick and choose what elements and angles that I wanted and then laid over more um, solid colored images over it. So these are down to like 50% or less of the physical imagery. I was able to add lace, both vertical and not vertical, uh, vector lace. Um, I don't think I have any physical lace on any of these. I think I use a, what we call a vector lace and gave us some of that pretty feminine feel. Um, a doily that I have scanned in, a paper doily was used, and then just images. These are all great images that I had in my stash and some that I normally don't use to help play off the colors that were in the background of the pages. So we'll start off the papers themselves. And this is considered the Botanical Collage Roll Journal Kit. Um, up for sale, of course, as of uh, late last night, first thing this morning, as usual. Okay, comes with our papers, as always, oh, my decorative ones, you know, easily fold down the middle. You've got a nice pretty left and right. You have some that are decorative, some that are muted and light. Easy to use. A little um, wrought iron, a little um, lacy elements. Things that were flowers over flowers, birds butterflies. I think I have my caterpillars in here and my and I think my um snails back in play. All right. I like this one. This one was pretty because it had the bluish periwinkle and be able to pull the yellowy just cream colors off this was ended up being one of my favorite pages. But if you really look there's little there's just little things everywhere. Without having to sit here and do a massive amount of work all at once. I could just layer on top of what had already existed, use elements that I haven't used in the past, florals I haven't used in the past. It was nice to bring in some new things that I've been, you know, hoarding lately. You download from everywhere. You purchase things from everywhere because you have memberships and you want to make sure you use everything you can and, you know, you go, oh wait, I haven't touched that. 
It was good to bring some, like I said, some newer colors that I normally don't use either. Again, the doily as another layer, the butterfly, not the butterfly, the bee, yellows and blues. This was another, this was a um, piece of lace, uh, the edge, it was like lace applique on the end of a tablecloth. And I had scanned it in, so I went ahead and was able to cut it out and overlay it. Again, the doilies, the imagery. A little grungy, a little, you know, um, what is the word? There is, there's a style to this. I have to think about what it is. Put my little caterpillar in it. Oh my gosh. I, it's not Renaissance, but there is a couple sets of, uh, from Heritage, Heritage type um, website. They have a certain look to some of their graphics, and it, I cannot think of what it is, but it... It lent to a different set of digitals that I normally have. I did give you guys a journal page. So what are we at? We at six. We're at six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think six decorative pages. I believe we have a nice, lovely journal page. A little bit, just a little bit of something, but easy to write on down the middle. Great to back on all of these if you really wanted a more, you know, a good journaling, um, a journaling based journal you know you need to have these pages on the back of the decorative ones so that you can you know find that space necessary and then we go into the ephemera so again highlighting as i always do the, my favorite elements of the pages so you guys don't have to cut them out you guys don't have to sit here and go let me cut this out let me do that you know i sort of get to do it for you so you're not looking for all these pieces and you can we can sort of you know enjoy now I did them where you have your horizontals, you have, you know, some of them can go a little more vertical. Like this one's really good as a vertical, actually. Even this one can be used vertically, you know, where you have that space on top or bottom to play with. Nice, long but simple belly band. Again, the yellows on the bottom gives you room on top to, to decorate in. We have our bordered labels standard corners not stackable i mean you could if you're really careful with it um, but they're just your standard corner pockets you have your coin pocket that'd be fun to add into a pocket you know add it into a larger tuck or pocket you have the smaller some words i did grab a couple of my botanical word words um there's a botanical word sheet out that's been out for a while that came out with the original botanical kit and so I just grabbed a couple of those to add that yellowy yumminess to this kit. You have your three large journal pages. And I did leave the middle one sort of plain so that you could either fold it in. So when you opened it, you had all this goodie, all this yummy on the inside. Or the other way, this is the back and you happen to glue it down. You weren't worried about, um, you know, sort of wasting and getting going, oh my gosh, I'm gluing this to the back of something. And... You know, I'm, I'm hiding some pretty florals, but this way it lets these to be your, you know, your outside flaps. And this is just the back. I did make these one inch. I believe they're the one inch. I took the, br the brown doily that I had made into a small coin size. Yeah, I made them into the one inch. So you could cut them just right outside the doily area. Of course, then you have to decide if you want to trim farther than that. But you can make them little doily coins at the one inch hole punch, one inch circle punch. Light, and so that way we didn't waste any space. I did do the instantly back cards again. Um, it seems to be where I'm going through sports of this. I don't think I did instantly back with the black and white. I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Um, so I, said, I worked on these side by side, so I forget. But I did two, you know, the usual um, two sets of two. Both sets of, on each page, one has lines, one doesn't. One's a little bit more bright, one's a little bit more neutral, so that you could go, this one you could actually go horizontal with it. This one you have its vertical abilities. I have a mini um, envelope for you guys. Of course, little cards that will fit in it. Stamps, coins, tabs, flags. You got a little bit of everything in here. Um, being it's a slightly smaller kit, um, there wasn't a huge amount of any one thing, but I had a lot of fun using the graphics and, um, and the elements and creating you the little ephemera that you would need. Did a larger bordered label for you. Instead of doing the set of four, I just did again the set of three, but these are all very bright and easy to use, so you can decide how you want to fold inside or out. 
if you want to keep it together or you can just trim right down the middle and you have three medium sized tags. Now these guys usually I give you six scallops by themselves and on one of the kits I had done one or two sets of side by side scallops. So you can make them tiny little folded uh, double tag like folded double tags and so I gave you three sets of those this time around and they're all pretty I, I feel when you fold them you have sort of the front and back still element and you could then use them as tiny little um, you know journaling spaces these actually would even be really cute on on gift bags I just realized that when you fold them and you pull punch them um, you know you would put the string through one side and you'd write your you know to and from on the inside so these could actually make actually really cute um, gift bag tags hm, who knew right amazing what you get inspired from and you don't realize it until you put it in something and then you're like oh well duh <laughs> so you got the mini ones you got the the three trifolds much a very large um label that can go both horizontal or vertical so um and maybe a really fun place to journal inside or on the back side of a tag or card so there's your second set of um double-sided journal cards Again, you just cut the whole thing out, fold them in half, glue them front, glue it on the outside there, or the back side, and you have these nice, thick journal cards ready to go that you don't have to worry about putting on through the paper, you know, through the printer and finding a backing and all that good stuff. It is instantly backed for you by simply, you know, cutting, folding, and gluing. And this one, really with the writing on it, you could actually go horizontal with this one if you wanted and make that one your vertical. Uh, but except we're going horizontal on this one, your lines are the other way. But I don't, I don't think that makes a difference when you're writing on it. But this can go vertical or horizontal. Um, same thing with this one. You have that capability where that one actually was laid out on the page as a horizontal. But you could so go vertical with that one. So room to play with those. That's your second set of instantly backed. And then I gave you small and large uh, fussy cuts. So the images that I did use this time around um, in here. You have the one and a half inch and a two inch little doily paper doily coins. You have all the critters that I use, both in small, you know, small and medium ish. And then you have all the goodies, all these beautiful um, florals that I used bits and pieces of in the journal. Um, I gave you to them to you with that creamy outline around them, so that when you cut them, you're not worrying about that white space if you can't or don't want to get into every little detail, every little crevice of these. Darling leaves that are definitely, uh, the leaves and the flowers are so delicate in design sometimes that, oh my gosh, who wants to cut those all out? So I gave that ability to sort of like, well, I can sort of kiss cut or cut just on the outside of the cream side and have a nice little uh, stencil. And then there, there's all the main ones, um, large. And they're upside down, so just they were just easier to place. So you've got them, um, you know, laid out. So you have a nice large size, which aren't super large. And really, it's still... Um, less than uh let's see you go five and a half this way so you're still i mean they're four inches maybe i don't think they're even that let me see they're still pretty small in some right in some aspects they're not very large um yeah it's like not even three and a half tall on that one i think the widest one right now is two Two and a half if you go to the you know tip to tip this way two and a half wide you know it's only mm, yeah three inches tall so these aren't super big they are you know uh, two by three uh, three and a half by two and a half in your imagery uh, which is still great on the front of any page to add an extra layer when you're folding these and you feel like the ins these insides are not decorated enough or you want something you know closer to this edge you would take one of these die cuts and you'd be able to plop it on there or put it up here or upside down or cut it off the edge um this page doesn't have any flowers maybe you decide well i really want some of these flowers on there you can cut them out you know and add them to it there is still a very bluish tone to these um when everything else has a cream base it's sort of funny though the imagery and the, and the elements when they're pulled apart in certain elements you see more of the cream but the pages themselves, no matter how hard I try, um, printed with a blue tint to them. I don't know if that's my printer. I don't know what the deal is with that. They look fine one moment. I play with them. I process them for you guys. I print them and they have a blue tone to them. Doesn't matter. Doesn't fail. So, but that's okay. It's a very cool, 
um, inviting element where you can then take your, your vintage photo or your favorite antique browns and stuff and grunge it up to, to pull more color. You can leave it cream. You need it more yellow. Print it on coffee dye. Print it on tea dye papers. Really grunge this up. And although if you put it on a cream, something this may go more green, you know, blue and, blue and yellow make green. So we'll see. But it'd be great to see what you guys think on that end and see how it turns out. So this is it. This is the Botanical uh, Collage Roll Journal Kit, which is the companion to the Collage Scrappy, uh, Botanical Scrappy Collage Roll Papers. It is the uh, part of it. It was the, you know, all these papers were, when I collaged them physically, were from Botanical, were from uh, floral wallpaper. I mean, it was every paper I had left over that had any kind of floral on it that I made a scrappy roll out of. Um, I call it scrappy because it's, you know, like a scrappy Saturday collage roll that I made. And then it just, you know, it blended into papers. It became kits. It's, it's done all kinds of things. So that is what is available to you guys this week. It's a, one of my last botanical elements, I think, for the summer. I have one more project coming up. Don't know if it's going to lend towards um, how floral. I may try to make sure I keep it to the more muted... Um, coloring schemes as you see on the you know, on top here it may more lend to a little bit more of this feel where it's not so blue of course definitely not blue but I have one more project um, a kit that I want to put together and that's what's journal it's for the journal for the journals um, but it's more ephemera I have an ephemera kit that I want to work on for you guys um see if I get because I um, saw someone do something and I realized I didn't have all the elements for it so it made me lead to think that, well, if I don't have all the elements, some of you may not have all the elements either. So there will be a kit coming up soon that is still in the floral department, still a little bit on the summary side, but I may make it a little bit more uh, vintage and grunge for you guys later um, to add to all of our favorites. So this may be my last summary element for the year, being the third week of July, and I am you know, really looking forward to autumn. I know August isn't autumn yet, but I feel like we have to prepare in August for autumn. So not here in California, but we try and, and then we lead into Christmas and everything else. So there you go. Botanical collage roll uh, journal kit. And with it, um, I will also be released. or I also release, I always forget I release it the night before when you guys see this, but I also release my first set and sheet of tags, not tags, all these T's, good Lord, tabs, tags, tickets. I haven't done any tickets yet. Um, if you're part of my crafters of a jewel, a crafters of a jewel design, you did get a um, sample of this, where you were you received a number of ephemera and as a freebie, and there were a few of my first ever tickets that I made. Um, everybody makes them, and I just haven't had a chance to play with them yet and really work into it or see what my take would be on them. So they're definitely more decorative. They're definitely an embellishment to your side, and each row has sort of a theme. And they sort of pull from a number of my kits. So anything pink, um, uh, you know, Emma, uh, French, some of these, which is a whole row of pale pink rose uh, ticket elements. I took the elements of the, the, the piano and the black and white florals and did a sheet of vintage black and white tickets. I took the irises from the botanical kit, the first one, and did a row of iris botanical tickets for you. We did a pink shabby row. These are the, the imagery and backgrounds and florals from my pink shabby rose journal kit. And then this is from the Mother's Victorian Roses journal kit. So it has, you know, if you have a lot of my things and these tickets all go with it. Otherwise there's a lot of floral here. So if you're just big into floral and the creams, this is a great ticket set. You don't feel like you're looking at the same she sheet of all the same things. Um, so it's a ticket variety. I think it's a floral ticket variety kit, and this will also be available to you guys um, as of this morning. So something new to add to your embellishments. Instead of always adding words, you can add your tickets. And we'll see. This is something I'll do a lot of, where every so often I'll just do a sheet of them that sort of pull from a number of my favorite kits so that they go with what you have. Um, that one little extra thing that you get to add, you know, to a pocket or to a cluster. Um, that helps emphasize your creativity and that project that you're working on. So there you go. We have these two lovely things now out for, for
for grabs. And, you know, it's, we now have uh, two word, two sheets of words, a sheet of tickets, two journal kits, and a paper kit. All out to you guys in the, f in less than, you know, a three week span. And there's more to come, of course. Always more to come. So thank you for following me here um, on, on Jewel Design with Jolene, which is me. Hello. Have a hope you have a great morning, a wonderful week as the July just zooms on by. And thank you for following me, subscribing to me, liking and commenting. I love knowing that you're there um, and that you're watching and that I'm inspiring you and hopefully encouraging you uh, to either expand on your creativity, expand within your comfort zone or step outside your comfort zone. Uh, every once in a while, it's fun to do so. It's amazing what we create when we, we sort of step out of that. And that's about it, ladies and gents. We are on a roll. I will see you again next week for sure. Uh, as I mentioned last week, there probably will not be any more Journal With Me's this month. Um, there's just so much going on and I really need to get caught up. But that will leave August and September um, open to do more Journal With Me with you guys, with the kits that I've been creating get you inspired, get you going, and um, get my seasonal stuff created for you guys. Um, if you're not able to make the journals or aren't able to print, maybe you'll be able to, you know, util utilize um, the journals that I'm making. So thank you for watching again. Thank you for commenting and sharing, following along with all my social media um, links, which are down below. If you need to find an area besides YouTube um, to keep an eye on what I'm up to, it's all there. And I think that's it. We'll keep it short. Again, we're trying to keep it short and sweet. So you'll keep coming back and watching what I have to offer for you guys. And I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.